All right, this is a building tutorial for the street sweeper. Uh, there are no building instructions for the entire thing, so I'm gonna just go ahead and start building. If you are interested, if you go on the WeDo app and you click on uh, classroom projects and then you click on the light bulb, you can see all these different ideas. All the ones that are over here don't have any building instructions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to sweep uh, and then floor sweeper and they give me pictures. So I'm just gonna build based off of these pictures right here. And uh, so this hopefully will help you if you're struggling to match the pictures. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with two of these. These are two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 10, 12. We're gonna put two of them together like this and then we're gonna go uh, right in the middle. This one has one, two, three, four, five holes. We're just gonna go right in the middle. We're gonna take our two by four bricks and we're gonna go on either side. And then we're gonna put this blue one right down the middle. This is kind of the base that things are gonna sit on. All right, so uh, on top, right in the middle goes my motor. So it's kind of sitting here, uh, just right here in the middle. Then I'm gonna take these little flanks so these are two by four with the holes, and we're gonna put them on either side like this. Okay, so we got those going on uh, either side. And then uh, underneath, I'm gonna take my longest ones, I think these are 16, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 length, and they're gonna be spaced. So see how there's a gap in between. We're gonna go on either side, just like this. All right, we're gonna take these green with the slopes, oops, and have these coming down the sides. Oops, if it keeps falling off, luckily we have this next step, which is gonna fix it. We're gonna take these one by sixes, and we're gonna put them on just like this. There we go, that should, fix our problem now that they're sandwiched in a little bit. All right, so we've got uh, this and then underneath, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my little small white ones, my one by twos. We're gonna put these on the end and then we're gonna take this two by six with the five holes. That's gonna come right here and then these one by fours are gonna come after it. And then we have one more of these um, uh, two by sixes with the five holes. We are going to put two of these with the hole facing this way. So the hole is going the longer ways. That's very important because we're gonna put it on here and see how that connected with the blue. Let me show you one more time, I'll take it off. So this is here. These pieces are gonna connect on that blue. Okay, so we should have this going across. We should have those blue. And then um, I'm gonna take my long axle. This is a length 12 axle. And that's gonna go through here, right where this line is, this one right here. Okay, uh, you're going to squeeze it off by putting these little tan gears on either side. They really just act as a, as a stop for either side, so you get these little tan gears. They're not actually powering anything. And then we can put the motors on, or not motors, oh my gosh. We're gonna put the wheels on uh, either side. You might have a little bit of a black axle sticking out. And uh, because we're gonna be hand pushing this, just make sure there's not too much friction and those wheels spin freely, just like that. Okay, we're gonna take our hub and we're gonna snap our hub in just on top like that. Okay, uh, underneath we are going to take this uh, green circle and this black one like this and then put it right in the middle right here. That gives, gives it kind of like a little thing uh, for the friction so it will drive across. Okay, now the last little bit is setting up our sweeper motors. So I'm gonna start, uh, this is a length three gray, so a tiny gray one. We're gonna put the yellow 
bushing on it and then the white um, wheel and then we're going to push that into our motor just like this and then push it as far as it will go make sure that it's all the way in all right we're going to do the same thing on either side for these so what we're going to do is um, let's start with the clear blue the trans blue and then put this right in the middle i'm going to do both of them at the same time because we're just repeating the same steps each time all right and then underneath the blue we're going to put the black so right in the middle that just sits right in the middle like that put these on put the length six axles so they should be just too shy of the length of the the green so not the really big ones and those stick them as far in as they will go and now we are going to push these up through that hole in the sweeper so the the, the only holes that it will go through in the sweeper so you'll see that they're kind of sticking up on either end then you take that bushing just right at the very top you don't want to push it all the way down um, we're not trying to seal it in because when when it's driving you'll notice that the white bushing doesn't touch the light orange or bright orange two by four pieces all right let's go ahead and we're, we're going to plug in uh, our sweeper maybe we should have plugged it in sooner that was a little challenging uh, but you want to get it plugged in. Maybe you'll have to take the hub off, plug it in, and then put it back in. And then the last part is a little tricky, but we're going to take our red rubber band. You'll see that there are two grooves here. So we're going to go through the first one, and then you just kind of twist it and connect it to the yellow. And then on the next groove, uh, we're just going to kind of twist it a little bit on here. And then as this turns, you'll see that they're going to twist. Now, you'll notice that we, you know, we can move these around because of the rubber bands and we want it when this is twisting, yeah, for them to do opposite things. So one's going clockwise, the other one's going counterclockwise. All right, and then we just wanna turn it on, come on over here, make a new project, connect your brick. Uh, and then really all you need to do is just set the power and maybe for how long, so maybe set the power for three seconds, hit play. And there you go, we have our street sweeper going. All right, hopefully this was helpful and that you're able to create the, uh, the street sweeper.